This video is sponsored by Editors Keys. For a great selection of video editing and recording products, visit editorskeys.com. Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this video is all about upgrading this 15 inch MacBook Pro. This is a two gigahertz Intel Core i7 MacBook Pro with eight gigabytes of RAM and a 500 gigabyte hard drive inside, a 5400 RPM hard drive. Now for this upgrade, we have got a Freecom Quattro dock, which is gonna be used for cloning. I'm gonna show you that in action in a moment. We've also got the MacBook Pro itself, and then the upgrade is going to be this Samsung Series 830 SSD, or solid state drive. This offers up maximum performance, SATA six gigabits per second performance, and I'm gonna be popping this 256 gigabyte model inside the MacBook Pro. Now before I do that, I'll just show you some of the things that I do in preparation for this uh, sort of upgrade. Now the first thing I wanna do is actually do a disk speed test. Now if I click start on here, it will test the internal hard drive in here, which as I say is a 500 gigabyte hard drive, and it will test for write and read speeds. So you can see here the write speed on the first round of tests got 59.8 megabytes per second, the read, roughly the same, about 58.6 megabytes per second. And on the second round of tests, it's peaking out at about 64 megabytes per second on the write speed and on the read speed, dropping down this time round and peaking out around about 50 megabytes per second. Now I've run this test a few times prior to starting this recording and the maximum write speed was 68 megabytes per second, maximum read speed was 70 megabytes per second. So let's stop that test running and we're quit out of that. The second thing that I always do uh, to prepare for these upgrades is rather than put the SSD in the MacBook Pro first, I actually pop it into one of these docks and I use a software called SuperDuper, you can see it running on the screen here, to do a clone of the uh, Mac OS X software onto the new drive. So this is what we get inside the box from Samsung. As I say, this is a Series 830 uh, solid state drive, the very latest from Samsung. And this is what the drive looks like, very nicely presented. This is the drive itself. We've got the serial ATA connection on this end and some mounting screws on the side and also on the underside as well, we've got extra mounting screws. And we just pop that in the dock over here. So whilst that's mounting on the desktop, I'll show you that Underneath the packaging, we've got some extra information from Samsung. This is just about warranty and using the software. This is supplied with software. Now, this Magician software is for Windows PCs only, doesn't work on the Mac, so thus I'm using SuperDuper. But what this would do if you were putting this in a Windows-based system is it would actually clone your Windows system across to the solid state drive. So as I say, I'm using SuperDuper. I've got my MacBook Pro selected as my source, and then I can select the Samsung 830 series as the uh, destination for all of the data. And then I can click copy now to actually transfer the data that's on here. So this is gonna make an exact copy of what's on the hard drive in the MacBook Pro, and it's gonna move it across to the solid state drive. Now, once that's completed, I'll come back to you and show you the second part of the upgrade process. So now that Mac OS X is cloned across onto the solid state drive, I've got an exact replica of my operating system. So we've removed this from the dock, I've shut the MacBook Pro down and I'm now ready to start removing the base. Now I'm using a Kamasa screwdriver. It has actually got multi tips in this end. People love this screwdriver. I'm sure they still make them, but we've got a whole selection of tips in the end here. I've already fitted the right size screwdriver bit in this end, and just to show you, this is a Phillips double zero size screw bit. So we're gonna very carefully remove these screws around the base, and it's always a good idea to really take your time on this, don't rush it, uh, make sure you pop all the screws to one side safely uh, so you don't lose anything. So that's the first one removed, and then we're gonna move on to the second one. And I'm gonna speed up this section of the video so you don't have to see me remove all of the screws. And I'll be right back with you once all the screws are removed. 
So we're now down to the final screw and we just remove this one just here. And then we will pop the SSD just over the back here nice and safely out of the way and then we we'll remove the base. It's very easy to remove, it just unclips and then we can remove it out the way. And this reveals the internals of the MacBook Pro. And we've got various things I'll just point out to you here. We've got the battery just here, we've got a couple of fans, we've got the memory modules, this is the optical drive. The bit we're interested in is obviously the hard drive down in this corner. Very easy to remove. We've got two retaining screws just here and we can use the same size screwdriver bit just to remove these two screws. That's number one. And they're captive screws so they're not going to fall out. They actually remain within this little bracket that I'm removing. And then once that's removed, we can then use the tab on the hard drive just to carefully lift it up out of the way. And then we can see the ribbon cable underneath which connects the hard drive and we're going to very carefully just ease that off. Now we can, if we want to, remove this section here and place this onto our solid state drive. But for this test and this particular benchmark upgrade, we're not going to remove this plastic tab. We're going to just leave the solid state drive as it is. What we do have to remove are these mounting bolts on the side and we need another different screwdriver bit to remove these. So we're gonna just pop this one to one side and then find the right one. I think it's a T6 for these side ones. If I can just find it, I think it's this one here, which is a T6 bit. We just check that that's the right size, which it is. And then we just pop that into our screwdriver and now we remove these four mounting screws and place them onto the SSD. So now that all of those are in place, we can pop the SSD back in. Just a matter of connecting the uh, ribbon cable up again making sure we've got it orientated the right way round. And then we can place this back into the holders, just in here. And then drop it down into the MacBook Pro. And then we're gonna replace this uh, gripper, if that's the right terminology for it. Swap our drill uh, screwdriver bits over, almost said drill there, so and swap these over. And then just screw this back down. There we go, that's back into place. And then it's just a simple matter of replacing the base of the MacBook Pro and popping all the screws in. And again, I'll speed this portion of the video up so you don't have to sit around watching me do the same thing over and over again. <laughs> So now we're down to the last screw, job done. So that's the back secured back on to the MacBook Pro. Now it's time to get this booted back up and we'll do another speed test. Okay, so we're back up and running on the MacBook Pro, now with the Samsung 830 series solid state drive inside. Just to let you know, this booted up in super fast time. It was about eight seconds boot up time, considerably faster than when it was running with the 500 gigabyte 5400 RPM hard drive. And we're gonna run this disk speed test again. Now previously we were getting 68 megabytes per second maximum on the right and 70 megabytes per second maximum on the read. So let's click start and wow, look at that. 367, 372, 374, 374.8 megabytes per second on the right speed. And the read speed is phenomenal. 462.4 megabytes per second. And again on the right speed, it's maxing out at 383 megabytes per second. And on the read, 469, 470, 470 megabytes per second. This particular upgrade, popping a solid state drive, and especially this 
particular one, this Samsung 830 series, serial ATA six gigabits per second solid state drive is absolutely transforming the write and read speeds and will transform the way this MacBook Pro performs. Now, something of this capacity, 256 gigabytes, is gonna cost you round about the 200, 209 pound mark in the UK, $260 if you're in the US. You can get other capacities. This is a brilliant performance and a well worthwhile upgrade to your MacBook Pro. So thanks very much for watching. Please check the links underneath this video. Please do give me a thumbs up. Please do subscribe and I will see you all in the next one. Thank mm -hmm. you.